Greetings. Happy Wednesday and a Wellness Wednesday indeed. Today, we're going to have a special edition of Wellness Wednesday, all about eating your way to peace and pleasure. So I shared with you all yesterday about how I'm dealing with um, caring for my dad who cancer has returned, okay? And it is not treatable, it is not curable, and he is having a lot of um, health issues with this. I've been down this road before. So caring for him again, I have a different strategy. And it's really about making sure that I pour into me so that I have something to give and pour into him. So today we're going to talk about eating your way to peace and pleasure. What do you mean by that, Dr. Michelle? Glad that you asked. Um, May is National Self-Pleasure Month. So it's about really being intentional about your desires, your pleasure, your self-care, um, your empowerment, your confidence in yourself, body confidence. And so I want to show you what I'm eating being very mindful and intentional about what I'm putting into my body to help me mitigate stress and have a healthier overall well-being. So in case you don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Michelle, like Obama, Clay like Cassius. I am a physician and certified holistic health counselor and clinical nutritionist. And I am the CEO and founder of Freeality. And Freeality is a premium wellness experience. I provide tools to transform your wellness through premium loose leaf herbal teas, wellness coaching programs, corporate wellness solutions to help you release stress simply and naturally get to the business of living your life on purpose and with passion. My programs, especially my wellness coaching programs, are focused specifically on my fabulous sisters over 40, maneuvering menopause with grace and ease. Let's get into it. So I'm going to, a couple of things that are really important to eat your way to peace and pleasure. And you can see over here on the other screen, I have some of them out. So vitamin C is really um, a great option, not only to enhance our immune system, but guess what? It can help mitigate the cortisol spikes that occur with stress. So help mitigating the stress response, all right? So a lot of people want to go to um, citrus fruits, which are a great option for um, vitamin C. But did you know that strawberries have even more vitamin C than citrus fruits? What? Amen, amen. So that's a great option. We're also going to use an avocado. Avocado is a great source of B vitamins and B vitamins help um, enhance and strengthen the nervous system. So of course, when people say, this is on my last nerve. They might be right. <laughs> okay. So the nervous system includes like our brain, our spinal cord, and of course the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic is that fight or flight that is the stress response. Okay. Okay. Um, and the other thing about eating an avocado, not only being a great source of B vitamins, but also when you eat avocados, then it helps you absorb the nutrients, your, helps your body absorb the nutrients that are, um, that you're trying to get from your other foods. So an avocado um, with the B vitamins, Paranet with vitamin C, yes, perfect. The other thing that um, we have going on, I have some spinach here, okay? And I have this um, sweet chopped kale salad. So if you're working, you're on the go, a lot of us, well, most everybody, professional, you have extremely busy lives, then you can't always be in the kitchen chopping and this, that, and the third. 
And so this is a great quick option that you're still getting the necessary um, vitamins and nutrients that you need. But the reason I chose this with this sweet kale blend is because it has chopped broccoli, green cabbage, and kale. And so those green vegetables, um, broccoli and the cabbage being cruciferous vegetables, then those are great sources of magnesium. And magnesium is our natural chill pill. So I'm just going to make a quick little salad with those things. Um, the strawberries, actually, I'm going to make a smoothie with that. All right. So you ready to join in? Yes, let's go. Okay, so first um, thing that we are going to do, first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and make our smoothie, all right? And so I already have my tea um, brewed, and so what I'm using is Freality's Release and Relieve blend, and Release and Relieve is the turmeric based blend, and the turmeric, ginger, um, dried lemon cinnamon and pepper. So the reason why I chose this particular blend today is because turmeric not only is a powerful anti-inflammatory, but it is an adaptogen. And an adaptogen is a classification of herbs that help protect the body from the detrimental effects of chronic stress and bring you back to balance or homeostasis. So homeostasis, that is what we're talking about to activate that parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. All right. All right. So um, I pour it in here. I have not sweetened this, but I am. <laughs> I've all sweetened it with honey. All right. <laughs> ah. That's good. And then um, normally I may add some green to my um, for my smoothie. But since I'm going to just eat it raw with the salad, then I'm not going to do that today. All right. And then I'm just going to add the strawberries. Oh, and one thing that I forgot. Mm, let me go get it over here. Um, I'm traveling to help my dad so I don't have all my packages and things. but some maca root okay and so it looks like this i just brought some to travel with all right and um maca root really helps balance the hormones um so it really helps with my menop mitigate my menopausal symptoms all right and it helps with stress helps with stress your mood I say a little bit. Okay, that's enough. Stress, your mood, energy, focus, and the libido. Yes, indeed. That is another form of pleasure. Okay, let's be clear. We are all adults. All right. <laughs> and so now I'm going to just blend this. Hold on for the noise. <laughs> That's done. Next, let's just do our salad right quick. And I also have a cucumber. So being mindful, pausing, being present so you can get to your peace and have experienced pleasure every day by activating, igniting your senses. So when you pause and you're mindful, you're in the moment, then you get in touch and in tune with your body, your mind, and your spirit. And so my body is calling for me to have cucumbers. And that usually happens. I usually crave cucumbers as the weather warms up. And that's how I know I'm in touch, I'm in tune, I'm in flow with nature because cucumbers are coming in season. Now, granted, we can get cucumbers all year round, but coming into season locally, all right? So, um, Let's get into it. Now, these prepared salads, they do have these salad dressings, but I don't think I'm going to use that. Let's just take that out, okay? Ooh. And there's some radicchio in here, too. All right. And then I'm going to add some spinach. Spinach. 
We're going to mix this up. Okay. And next, because I like things to be flavorful, so I'm going to add some seasons. We're going to do Himalayan pink salt and see it has some black pepper and garlic. I love how this tastes. Okay. That's good. Um, just because anybody that knows me knows I don't go anywhere without my Tony Satries. Is this healthy? No. Does it taste good? Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. That to side. I'm going to add, I love the flavor of fennel, but fennel also helps with the digestive system. Okay. And your digestion. Just a little bit. That's good. And of course, you can add more. It depends on your taste and what you like. Right? Right. And I'm going to add some curry, Jamaican hot curry. I like it spicy. Um, just because I, lo I love curry. And also, what gives the beautiful yellow color of the curry is the same active ingredient as in turmeric, which is curcumin. And that is what really gives the health benefits of being an anti-inflammatory, of an adaptogen, and um, also a phytoestrogen. Now, for my 40 plus and fabulous sisters, phytoestrogens are important. Because what a phytoestrogen is, is a plant, plant that is not estrogen, but it's a molecule, there's molecules in it that mimic, are very similar to the chemical structure of estrogen. I'm going to be 53 in July. So all of that is very important to me. Okay. And then next, I'm just simply going to um, add a couple of slices of cucumber. It's important to have good knives, honey. This is cut co. I am not an ambassador. I cut that kind of thick, but that's all right because I'm going to take this and just cut it in half. Put that around. And I have a small bowl because it's lunchtime. I have a lot of things I have to do um, before I go to the hospital and to my dad's house because not only and I'm am I helping to take care of him but also repairing his two bathrooms okay um new tile new toilets cleaning all of that okay new sink pipes <laughs> all the things and doing his laundry <laughs> and he once again wants me to make food for his tube for his G tube okay so all of that. And then next, the avocado. Uh, this is a large avocado, as you can see. And um, the reason I got it so large is because it was on sale at Kroger. Do not sleep on Kroger. Do not sleep on Kroger. I personally have found that they have a lot of great deals weekly deals and especially if you have a a Kroger your Kroger Plus customer and um they have good produce too okay now I could use half of this but I'll have more later and then I'm just gonna make it cute as cute as I can in this small bowl. I'll make like a little, try to make a little triangle. There. Oh, child, that's cute. That is cute. And then, now remember, avocados are a great source of healthy fats. And of course, I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, okay? Just drizzle just a tad. Keep it moist, you know. That's good. And I actually have a raspberry vinaigrette that I'm going to add to it before I eat it. And voila, here we go. You eat with your eyes first, okay? 
Your plate should be your canvas. Don't just throw any old thing into this temple that is our body. So doesn't that look beautiful? And as a sweet little treat, I'm going to go with this right here. And I love this. It has taken me a while to find this. I used to get this at Costco all the time. And I haven't been able to find it in about two years. So I found it again. Now, the reason why this is so important is because um, this is healthy. It's because there's almonds. All right. And um, almonds are a phytoestrogen healthy fat this is not chocolate this is actually the little white yogurt dots now here's the thing it's not the same thing as the cold yogurt there's not going to be live um cultures in here but still it's better than all of the sweets we have cashews dried blueberries which are a great source of antioxidants and a phytoestrogen and dried cranberries now if i wanted to i could drizzle this some of this within my salad but i'm just going to take a handful afterwards because it mixes the sweet and salty to me and um use it like a little dessert um i let me be honest in the past, uh, last month, I was stress eating. Being a caregiver is very stressful. Um, on top of all the other responsibilities that I have running a business, uh, running two households, and um, being a menopausal woman, okay? There are mood swings with menopause, okay? There's more anxiety with menopause and sometimes depressing feelings. So, making sure that I manage all of that. But sometimes life is lifing. Let's be honest. Sometimes life is lifing. And um, I have been doing some stress eating with carrot cake with the cream cheese ice. Oh, delicious. But I broke my sugar habit long ago. So this right here is um, just the right amount of sweet with a little salted because I like to mix and I know that I'm getting some health benefits, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wanna share with you that later on this month, I will be doing a two-day Release Your Pleasure Summit. This is strictly for the G&G &G or good and grown people and all about giving you tools and strategies. And I have one of my super friends um, who is, who offers intimacy solutions. She's a gynecologist. So if that is something that you are interested in, then make sure you comment below so that I can give you, um, send you more information about that, okay? Okay, so thank you so much everyone for joining me and to the replay viewers. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that um, you learned something today. Child, let me pour my what's it called? I didn't even pour my, pour my smoothie. I hope you learned something today. And I hope maybe on your lunch break, you are able to incorporate some of these um, healthy foods into your wellness strategy. And not just wellness. Remember, wellness is a 360 degree um, conversation, panoramic view. There's many dimensions of, not many, there are eight dimensions of wellness, not just physical. There's social, there's emotional, there's financial, there's spiritual, there's intellectual. And so uh, seeing how you can incorporate some of these things for your overall wellness so that you don't have to just keep your peace, but you can eat your peace and your pleasure. Have a positive rest of your day. It's Dr. Michelle signing off. See you soon. And please, thank you so much. I forgot to mention this. Thank you so much to everyone for your well wishes, your prayers as I navigate um, this with my dad. And I also um, pray for you because I know I am not the only one um, on your journey, your healing and holistic journey for yourself and the ones that you love and care for. Have a positive rest of your day. Bye.